There's something so wistfully beautiful about fall. The flowers seem so bright and it's like they're really putting up a fight. They want to hang on to every last second of summer. What you doing? Is your mama at Cole's? Is your mama at Cole's? Is she going to get you a present? Is he gonna bring you a present? Look at you. Oh my gosh, look at that dress. There is no woman alive that could look bad in a dress like that. I could feel it in my bones. There was something going on that should have doubt hanging around. God owns. Cause darling there was nothing right When all you seem to do is lie Those days are gone I'm walking tall while you're alone Everybody. I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I hope you had a good safe week. I had an exciting week. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the next four weeks are going to be so, so exciting for me and Desi. We are moving on, but I have so much to tell you and so many plans to share and well, anyway, it's going to be great. But before I get to that, I want to do a requested video. So that's what I'm going to do today. And so many of you have written me that, you know, what you were saying is that your finances have changed. That you can no longer spend $80 on a serum and $150 on a cream. And is there something that I could recommend that would be a whole skincare routine where the products would be $15 or less. Is that possible? And and yes, it's possible. That's basically what I use. And I want to tell you, I'm going to do a whole special section in, in just a few minutes on just the eyes, eye bags and um, dark circles. So in brightness around the eyes. So I, I will timestamp it if that's all, you know, you might just be interested in, in um, how, how to make our eyes look a little less puffy. So I've got some answers for that. But the first thing I would like to say is cleanser. I do a double cleanse and when I started to do a double cleanse, it, it just, it was a game changer. My skin got just much cleaner and it was a deeper clean. And the more we can get the soap off our face and the grime and the makeup, the less we break out and the smaller our pores seem to appear. But I can't do a double cleanse with two heavy duty cleansers, so I have to start out with an oil. And I use the Palmer's oil that you can get, I believe this is under $10, so way over 15, but I think this is the best oil cleanser that you can get as far as not only removing your makeup, but also just leaving your skin in a very beautiful, soft way. So your next step, your cleanser, is not going to be so harsh. Now the cleanser I do use is from Dirty Works and it's called the Creamy Cleanser. And the reason that I use this particular cleanser and this again is under $12. And I get this off of Amazon. And the reason I use this is because at times I have very, very sensitive skin. I don't use my cleansers to exfoliate. I do that, you know, another day, another time. My cleanser is just to soothe and nourish and clean. And this particular cleanser has spearmint, peppermint, and green tea. And I like all three of those things, plus it has licorice. And I know you know what I'm going to say. This cleanser because of the spearmint and the peppermint is not only refreshing, clears my pores, but it 
gives me a brightness and so does the licorice. All right, so the next step after I have cleaned my face is I am gonna pull out my beloved rosehip seed oil and I can get this for $15 or less and I am gonna use just one nice drop and I am just gonna press it into my face underneath my eyes, going around my face, down my neck, and even my hands. And rosehip seed oil, to me, it's so nourishing to the skin. I love that, that wild scent of it. And it helps so much to fight free radicals. You know, after you've cleansed your face and you've got your rosehip seed oil on there, then you would probably go to something like a Retin-A or a Retinol or Deferin. And the reason I say Deferin is Deferin is right between the strength of Retinol and Retin-A. It's not as strong as Retin-A, but it, it's stronger than Retinol. And it's over the counter and it is $15. So it's right in our price range. You just, you know, you just use a pea size amount and this is going to help you with cell turnover. It is going to do so many of the same things that Retin-A is going to do for you. But, you know, Retin-A, well, at least here in Michigan, Retin-A runs about $120. All right, so now it's time for a serum at night, right? And the days of maybe, you know, $175 Genevieve is maybe out of the question. So I would recommend a, a serum that we can get at the drugstore and with coupons that you can get this for about $15. And this is the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid. You know, for you out there that are familiar with high-end serums, you probably know very much what this feels like. It is, it's just very very luxurious it sinks into the skin right away this and serum also has uh, two muscle relaxants in it and I think what that does over time is it acts like a Botox and I have asked my doctor about this twice is it safe for me to be using a serum that has muscle relaxants in it you know that eases the lines around my eyes and I've got some very very deep lines around my eyes and he said, yes, it is safe. So, okay, I'm taking his word for it. But he said it's in such a small dose that, that I'm okay with it. And I think you would be too. But of course, you're always going to want to check with your doctor when you're putting muscle relaxants on your face. But, you know, I always think of it, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the gals talk about a Geraline. And I always think of this serum as like a Geraline on steroids. But... I think it's a beautiful serum. You know, it's funny, over the years that I have been on YouTube, I think the number one video I see is, you know, some woman in a thumbnail, you know, with horrible eye bags, and then it's a, you know, before and after, and then after, you know, she looks like Beyonce. I mean, how, how does that work? I don't know. I, th I used to try everything they told me to try, and, you know, nothing worked, and, and so I, I almost, well, I just didn't take it seriously. And I really never did a video about it, even though you asked me to. But I thought, well, that's my weak area, so I'm just going to let it pass. But over the years, what I started doing did make things better because people started to ask me, you know, did you, did you do something with your eyes? Did you, did you have a little bit of work done? And I, I couldn't believe that, that they would think that. I, I mean, I, I was really touched. But... I just want to pass along some real solutions that I got from my doctor, my dermatologist, uh, a plastic surgeon that I talked to, and then just some, just uh, some trial and error that I went through to try to get the swelling uh, of my of my eyes down. And I want to show you some before and after pictures, some pictures of last year, and then some pictures of maybe three or four years ago. And boy, do I hate to show you these pictures, but I'm going to. I 
got some advice from a plastic surgeon that told me if I'm really serious about having younger looking eyes that aren't puffy and lids that aren't droopy is I need to give up caffeine. I need to stop smoking and I need to stop consuming a lot of salt. Easy, huh? <laughs> well, from the pictures, you're going to be able to tell I didn't do any of those things, but now I do. I gave up caffeine. I now use the Folgers Hazelnut Decaf, and I love it. It tastes wonderful in the morning. I have it with my vanilla creamer. I don't feel deprived, and I have less puffiness. I have less nervousness. <laughs> and I quit smoking seven years ago, and I gave up salt a couple months ago. I still have, you know, sodium in my food, but I think that's all right. I drink a lot of water. I, I have a pillow now that I showed you a couple weeks ago that helps me sleep on my back. And if I do turn to my side, it elevates my head so uh, the fluid doesn't drain underneath my eyes. So that, that's good. That all, that all helps. You know, just as important as all that is there can be a vitamin deficiency that we are experiencing as we get older that is contributing to lids that are drooping and bags underneath our eyes. And that is a deficiency in vitamin B12 and vitamin K. And before you go on a supplement, it's always, always a good idea to talk to your doctor and tell him, tell him what you plan on doing and why. But I do know from personal experience that my dark circles and my puffiness, if I go off of B12, forget it. Who's afraid of baby Jane? Right here. I mean, it's bad. It's, it's really bad. I have found two products that blow me away. And I think I have always talked about these products probably for the last three years. But they help me so much. And I'm just going to share with you the products that I use. There's no gimmicks here. But this is the Eva Naturals Eye Gel. And this is a gel, and you keep this in the refrigerator. And this is not a sponsored video. Even Naturals does not know that I am talking about this today. And can I just say something very, very quick? You know how companies, you know, ask creators to hold things up and, you know, we'll give you money if you say every, something is wonderful? <laughs> every time I hold this eye gel up, it sells out and then I get a little email from the company saying, oh gosh, could you email us and give us a heads up before you mention our eye gel because, you know, we're a small company in Louisiana. We make small batches and it's like, yeah, okay. So that's how far away we are from a sponsored video here. They don't like me talking about their eye gel, but I have to. It's it's. I think it's the best eye gel on the market for a lot of different reasons. But we have Matrixel 3000 in here, and we have uh, green tea, we have aloe, we have cucumber. I'm going to list all the ingredients that are in this particular eye gel. But there's something about this eye gel that is it's so cold coming out of the refrigerator and even if you don't put it in the refrigerator it's cold and it's like nothing I've ever used before as you can see this bottle of eye gel is huge I mean if I just use this underneath my eyes this would last me two years but because it's so big even naturals encourages us to use it all over our face it's that good for us. It's, it's that good for our skin. The ingredients are so pure. But there is, you know, when you're getting like caffeine and cucumber and aloe all together and, and it just really shrinking that area underneath your eye, it's, it's such a great feeling. The downside of this particular eye gel is that it's very popular. It's an underground hit. And it sells out fast. And I've been out of this for two months, and I just got it back just about six weeks ago, so I'm so happy to have it back. But this isn't all I use underneath my eyes. I'm going to need help, and that's where my black castor oil comes in. To me, there is nothing like when you take your black castor oil at night, just a little bit. Oh, and by the way, this runs about $10. 
this bumps up your treatment of your eye bags or circles to like the stratosphere. It's so fantastic. So you have a little bit of castor oil and you're going to just dot, dot, dot that underneath your eyes and of course on your eyelid, you know, where you can get your eyelashes because it helps our eyelashes grow. It helps our eyebrows grow. But when you mix the castor oil with the Even Naturals eye gel or any eye gel, maybe you have another eye cream that you like, that's great but just mix it with a little bit of castor oil. Within a couple weeks, what you're gonna notice is underneath your eyes, there's gonna be a brightness that you've never seen. And there's gonna be a flatness underneath your eye and you're not gonna believe it. You're just like, what? What happened? This used to be all purple and red and puffy. What happened? This happened. This happened. There is a product by Garnier that I absolutely love that does so much for our under eye. This is the under eye roller and this is a brightener so this has a tint to it. So you know you keep this in the refrigerator and it's ice cold and oh, it's just it's so cold and dreamy. But what I do is I will run this just tap it along that line right here. And what this is doing is it, it's taking down the swelling, but it's also leaving behind a tint, a very, very light tint. That And because it's so cold and you can almost feel any kind of puffiness going away, and then you're just gonna tap it in. And then and it brightens, it's not intrusive, and the biggest thing about this is it's so, it's so moisturizing but it doesn't give you that kind of bye-bye under eye shine. It, it's just very, very natural. And I just don't think that product gets enough love, but I, I love it for my dark circles. Yeah, I think it's just fantastic. These are all the rage. A calming weighted blanket. They're $90. Oh, but look at how happy she looks. She's got 12 pounds of blanket on her. You know, Desi's 14 pounds. I'm happy. Oh my gosh, as soon as I saw that dress, I pictured myself in it. I had a dress just like that when I was about 30 years old. I had the high black high heels and the perfect jewelry. I don't know, I, I see this dress and I feel like I want to cry. I have no idea why. You know, I always think I'll remember that shopping trip where I saw that little black dress and I felt like I wanted to cry. Just thinking back on how strong I used to be, or thought I was. But you know, when I got back from, from that trip, there was an email saying that the dream apartment that Desi and I had been waiting for for 18 months, yeah, it's available. It's available. And it's so funny because I, I looked around this tiny little apartment and I felt so grateful. I didn't have that feeling like, oh boy, you know, I can't wait to get out of here. I, it was just the opposite. I did more growing and more learning here than anywhere else I've ever lived. Any big house with the three fireplaces and the solarium and the library, forget it. I did more work on myself here than anywhere else. So I, I kind of came to the conclusion it, it's not where you are. It, it's who you are. And who you want to be. So <laughs> I kind of felt like yeah, I'm still that girl in that sexy little black wrap dress only it's a few sizes bigger and 
while I'm in comfortable shoes. <laughs> so wish Desi and I luck. It won't be long before I'm shopping for my new apartment. I'm half excited and half scared. I don't know what the future will hold, but it sure feels good. Hey everybody, thank you so much for spending this time with us today. I loved every second of it. If you get time uh, in the comments, could you share what some of your Holy Grail products are that might be $15 or less? We all could use, I don't know, a little help right now, but Please know that Desi and I, we just adore you and thank you so much for being here with us. And please have yourself a, a good, safe, brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi. We'll be here. I could feel it in my bones. There was something going on that should have doubt hanging around. God owns. Cause darling there was nothing right When all you seem to do is lie Those days are gone I'm walking tall while you're alone When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things you took from me To the east side, finally got a piece of the sky. <laughs> Where's your treat? <laughs>